Hello, I'm Brian. Today we're going to be talking about how to remove a motor from an XE2640A. All right, so the first thing we need to do, remove an internal strip, is we're going to cut the wire tie off that holds the motor leads to, to the bracket. Then we'll remove the two Allen head screws at the bottom. Now that you can either take them all the way out or just loosen them and then wiggle the bracket out, whichever is easiest for you. And that moves that out of the way. Now the next thing you need to do is remove the four socket head cap screws that hold the motor down. All right, so then we have two pry bars. So what I do with the pry bars, I go underneath, right underneath the edge of the motor, as close as I can get up to it, and I take the bars and I push them towards me. So you're gonna push towards the center of your body, and as you do it, it lifts the motor out. Now your motor's free. Now in reinstalling the motor, you have to make sure that your keyway is lined up with your boring key at the bottom. So in this case, I usually try to spin that till it's right up one of the bolts, so I can rotate that to one of the bolts and then drop it in, line it up, and every now and again, give it a tap to go down and make sure your wires are free and no wires are pinched. Then after that, you basically just reinstall everything that you took out.